15th annual San Diego Strong Ale Festival. It's the VIP list. Some really interesting beers on here and some not so interesting beers. Check out the three Floyds that showed up. This I'm starting with is the Brandy Vanilla Dark Lord. So it's way too cold right now, but it tastes great. Definitely get a lot of barrel character on it. It's like uh, it's like I'm starting with dessert, so uh, it's a good start to this festival. And I got check in here. So uh, the rest of the list. I'm gonna go kind of quick here. There's a lot of great beers on here, and a lot of you know some okay choices. Some of them you got to read the description because I don't even know what who they're from or what they are. Man. There's some nice notes on here. So some of them are uh, special versions of the beer. So I only have eight tickets, so it's going to be uh, tough to choose, but I'll probably buy some more later. So there we go, that's, uh, that's the list. It's pretty crazy. Alright guys, I wish I had a 120 minute idea. Never had this before. It smells very sweet. I like chop the fruit, like deep kind of toffee. Almost like toffee uh, caramel notes, big time on this. Real sweet. Sweet hops, sweet malt on it, so it's good to taste too. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I'm surprised by it. Really sweet. The back end. Alcohol's there, definitely. Definitely got some alcohol on the back end, so. Yeah, check this one out on the list. Okay, so this is home base. We're uh, in the uh, extension of the ball shot where they have more tanks. Uh, they have their barrels in here, and uh, the rest of the festival is uh, outside. So. I actually have some pizza going now, so I'm going to go grab a piece of sliced pizza here in a bit. Okay, this is uh, Three Floyds. This is their uh, 15th anniversary Baller Stout. It's actually a blend of beers. It's a blend of uh, Dark Lord, Blackness, or sorry, Darkness, Black Albert, and Beer Geek Brunch. So it's really roasty, kind of like burnt, burnt, you know, uh, character to it. Definitely getting some oatmeal in there. Some real dark fruits, caramel. It's too cold right now, unfortunately. A lot of these beers I got to try cold, but um, I'm just glad I got to try this one. So, uh, Baller Stout from Three Floyds, beer number three. All right, guys. So I decided to get another uh, brandy vanilla dark lord before it kicked. So uh, finishing that, that's my uh, beer number four. We'll see where we go next. But probably the uh, Hellshire uh, two. Hey guys, this is the uh, Oakshire Brewing Hellshire two. This is a look at the list. Bourbon barrel aged stout with coffee. Actually get a ton of bourbon on it, get a lot of coffee, a little tiny bit of bourbon, uh, really roasty, kind of bitter, but uh, good, good, good stout for sure. Okay, next beer, I just got a taste of uh, Dogfish Head's uh, old school uh, barley wine, which um, unfortunately I had to uh, dump that out. Um, it wasn't mine, I just got a taste from another dude who supported to me. But um, better yet, I have Three Floyd's Arctic Panzer Wolf, this is their double IPA. Um, to me, it's like an East Coast flavored IPA, but done West Coast style. It has a lot of like earthiness, a lot of spice, floral character. Not very citrusy or, or fruity like a uh, you know San Diego or West Coast IPA is. But um, I am enjoying it. It's a good break between these darker barrel aged beers. I got some more tickets, so uh, we're gonna try probably. Uh, I might do uh, Three Floyds Ronaldo next, which is their uh, barrel aged milk stout. Okay, this is uh, Three Floyds Ronaldo barrel aged milk stout. Yeah, aged in port barrels with tart and sweet cherries. So uh, this is what I'm trying right now. I don't know, my palate's getting 
kind of ruined here, but um, got a little cherry notes. Definitely some sweetness from the lactose and the milk stout. Definitely gives us some barrel character. Um, the barrel character kind of plays with the cherries really nice. Kind of that darker fruit, you know, red, darker red fruit kind of flavor on it. Still a little cold, but um, really nice. I guess this is like Maloco, but barrel aged. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, good stuff from Three Floyds. Okay, guys, so uh, it's Bass Point Brewing's Barrel Aged Victory at Sea. Um, you know, it's their coffee vanilla porter. It smells pretty good. It smells a little stringent. You know, a lot of like oak tan character on it. Taste wise, you I mean, definitely get coffee, you definitely get vanilla, but there's just like a, a lot of stringency from the uh, oak on this beer, so it's not as good as I was hoping, but you know, it's still a solid beer. It's not quite as good as some uh, past uh, kegs of this beer I've had. Okay, guys, we're here with Three Floods collaboration with uh, Meat Colors. This is they call their buckwheat wine. So it's like a wheat wine. Um, it's really sweet, very weedy, very hoppy as well. You get a good amount of bitterness up front. Um, really nice stuff. Um, about the best three Floyd's beer I've had, but I'm trying to have most of them. So um, it's been fun. I didn't think I'd ever get to try this. So this has been a, a real treat here. Just met the three Floyd's guys. We were in town, brought some awesome beers with them. I don't know why this was on the BAP list, but this is Serpent Stout. Bourbon barrel aged with cocoa nibs and coffee. Uh, the nose on this is amazing. It's a coffee cocoa nib balm of a beer. It's like all I get. Uh, maybe a touch of bourbon. Almost like a cherry note, but... Uh, phenomenal beer. A ton of cocoa. Breakout. This is 2009 Alpine Ichabod. We have some stuff from Midnight Sun I've never even heard of. This table's rocking and rolling. Pelican Grand Cru from 2011 and uh, Dry Dock Signature Series. So yeah, welcome to San Diego if you've never been here. This is what we do, it's what we do well. So, yes, please. That's good. 2009 Ichabod from Alpine. I've done a review of this, 2011 version. It's gonna smell on it. it smells like a sour, which it is. Oh yeah, it smells really tart. Yeah, we do bottle shares here at even big ass strong ale festivals. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. Now the general public's let in, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's try this beer. Oh yeah, it's really tart. Oh, really tart. That's what I want. I haven't had any sour today, so it's really tart. Good stuff. Okay, so this is number 60. This is the blend between uh, all four pizza ports. 15th anniversary strong ale, because this is the 15th year of the uh, festival. So, uh, looks pretty dark. It's sort of like, you know, they're trying to do their own like Firestone Walker thing. Definitely has an imperial stout, sort of roasty, chocolatey thing, but it has a barley wine. Okay, get some sweetness, some caramel notes. Uh, it's a pretty nice blend. Not quite like something Firestone Walker would do, but really solid uh, offering from the, the four pizza ports blending it together.